I, you know, when I, I, I do try to listen to music that people release now. Um, it's, you know, I mean, I, I, I recognize it has value. I mean, people have been making like, have been making pop music like this for, you know, of that sort, just kind of bubblegummy type stuff, mm-hmm. you know, for like, what, 70 years? Sure. I mean, since the since the 50s, really, like, that's where bubblegummy stuff really came from. And that's basically what the radio is saturated with now. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it, it serves a purpose. The problem is, is that when you have a music, um, a universe of music that's completely saturated with that kind of music, and that's basically the position from which all other music extrapolates, then you got a problem, you know. I mean, as far as any other form of music that requires pre-production, that would require pre-production, it's generally rock music. Mm. And most of what I listen to now that I've heard that's recent is it's so bad, actually, that it, it kind of it, it, it I get physically like it, it physically hurts me to listen to it. Right. I mean, people make terrible decisions on every level. They make bad decisions about what kind of drum beats they use, about what the rhythm section is doing. You know about where they put guitar parts, about what the you know what, how the singer's treating the song. You know, you know sonic choices. The list is endless. Right. I mean, you do you know, think it's a generation generational uh, issue, or no, no? I I don't think it's generational. Right. I think that I think the issue really comes down to the fact that people don't have at this particular stage in our collective history a contemporary model of, of, of how to do it right. There are no right. contemporary models. Right. What there are are models in the past, you know, which people have gone back to time and again. And you, at this point, I don't think anyone wants to hear someone re, you know, recycle the Rolling Stones or Led Zeppelin for the eighth time. <laughs> it's too much. It's yeah. too much. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's what, that's what you got. Those are the reference points that people use they're not contemporary. They're ancient. This is all music, and I include the Beatles in this. This is all music that we should not be listening to anymore. Mm. You know, I mean, after Bach died, no one gave a shit about him. Right. You know, I mean, you disco- you're supposed to discover these people like hundreds of years later. Mm. I would be much happier right now if we lived in a world where people care, where people treated Beatle- the Beatles the way I used to look at doo-wop music when I was a teenager. Right. You know, I mean, doo-wop music was like, I shunned it. It was disgusting to me. Like, when I heard it on the radio, I'd run to turn it off because I couldn't say, it was like old, old folks music. Like, who listens to that shit? Right, right. You know, but now you have like, you've got like, I mean, I'm playing the Beatles for my two-year-old son. Hmm. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. There should be music right, out there right, that's right. viable, mm-hmm. that has the same, that has that kind of impact, that kind of emotional power. Where I don't have to like go to the Beatles as a reference point, you know, and be like, oh, those guys, Pfft, yeah. old. Yeah, yeah. I you mean, know, that would be the dream, to be honest. If that was the case, uh, it is. Yeah, it is the dream, and you know, unfortunately, you know, there, there are many factors involved in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, why, why this is the case? It, this is actually really funny because I had a. Um, I, have a, I, I know someone on Facebook who um, is, is dating Keith Richards, uh, <laughs> yeah. and she posted something that Keith, he can't, under, he can't seem to understand why the, he and the Beatles, you know, the Stones and the Beatles were sort of like, at the, they kind of like hit the pinnacle, and after that it was all like, <laughs> from there, and I basically laid it out for him. I wrote him a long email. Like a, a a long message on Facebook, and I was like, "It's because of this, 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 and this. It's <laughs> cultural and blah 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 and sociological." And they were both like, "Yeah," <laughs> they didn't know what to say. They're like, "Whoa, <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah." But it's it's true. I mean, people really they wonder about this, but it's like uh, there's so many fa- there's many factors, but it's easy to explain. Mm. You know, the problem here is that people have fallen too far into this whole concept of music as a commodity. Right. They've, they've moved too far away from music as an art form because no one likes the term art mm. because it's too highbrow right. and it means something that like you can't get your head around. It's like, no, 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 no. Art is meant to be a personal expression. 